All right, so another behind the scenes of the patrolling series. Um, as I mentioned before on another video, I was stating that I'm splitting my game into two modes. One, a free version, which is a patrolling WTH, um, which is going to be a free game. It's basically supposed to be more like a, a survival for the main game. It's going to be included in the main game that I am releasing a little bit later. Um, but in order to just get things out the door, I said let, to myself, let me just, you know, get this version ready and get it out the door for audience to actually get their hands to test it. Um, so I have made, of course, you know, it's, uh, this is going to be an Android game. Um, as y'all, this will be the Android port, which I'll go over in a second. Um, so I'm just going to go over this quickly, just so you can actually see the game and play and how it will look. And then I'll show you on the Android. Um, and it's just a quick update for people who are not aware of what's going on. So, of course, in the PC version, is a I, and the, seeing that I have uh, unlimited firepower, so I've added, you know, it's just some you know added weapons into the game that you know a few people were asking for. So, so let me just add a few things just to see how it is. You know, the I've only added uh, one power up before in the main game, and um, I'm actually adding more props I'm actually testing out a few different power-ups to see how they work and um, I can have my shield and fire at the same time because I'm in the PC mode so, and uh, and of course you know I'm I'm my own tester so of course you know that's one of the other kind of weapon fires that we have right now so there right at this time there is three different power-ups you have your standards so I'm just gonna get myself killed of course, you can see there's a scoring system now, your high score and then your current score. Get that out of the way. Of course, that's your regular weapon fire. When you get the first upgrade, which is a, well, not first. One of the upgrades is the blue upgrade, which is basically, and I'm, of course, I'm going to change the colors of the, the ammo so you can actually know which upgrade you have. Um, one upgrade really burns through your weapon or your shield's ability really, really fast. And that's uh, the most recent upgrade I just did. So the, the yellow one now right here gives you, oops, I don't have enough power to use it. And of course I have un unlimited shields because that's how I program it right now. Um, but in the core game, you will not have unlimited shields. Um, and my shields is there indefinitely because, uh, and uh, this uh, thing that you're hiding behind will get destroyed, just so you know. So that's what the so here we go. So blue gives you a different burst, red gives you a, a different burst, and then yellow also gives you a different burst as well. Um, so the reason I'm going over this in the in the bigger screen so you can actually get see how it looks. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot of things going on here. So yeah, uh, so basically this update was just to actually go over the different firepower you have. Um, the, the different weapons have, of course, way different attack abilities. As you can see, the damage is, of course, greater. The blue, the blue weapon is actually a more consistent beam and beam weapon. The first upgrade or the blue upgrade, which was basically the one that came before, was the original upgrade. It's just, you know, it's a spread shot. The yellow upgrade is a fast burst spread shot and the red um, again as I said I'm gonna change the colors so you can actually know the difference so here we go that spread shot right there and you know it's just sim a simple upgrade to your weapon and you know that's the normal upgrade that you will normally get the yellow now is basically a tight beam weapon there we go and hopefully you know that will because uh, a lot of people are asking about, oh, you want to change different kind of weapons you get? You're going to, you know, make it fun. And I said, okay, no worries. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I have to try to find something that's going to make it fun. And, you know, how how I'm going to work that into the gameplay. Because um, it's a little difficult and a little, not, not difficult to make. But it's just like trying to see that's going to be just right. Just the right formula. Because, you know, there's so many things you have in the game. You have this ability here, which is you can grab certain things and use as your shield. So, you know, they can really hurt you because you're behind that. You know, so there's so many different mechanics in the game itself. 
Oh uh, yeah, ooh, I gotta fix that. You're not supposed to be able to go like that behind it. But there's just so much going on here. So that's for that. And um, I wanna make you see how it is. Let me switch. Yeah, I died. All right. So I'm gonna switch to the mobile version. All right. So here we go. Thank you. Let me try to focus a little bit on that one. Focus a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to start that up. And of course, as you can see, if you can notice, you see how that weapon your weapon is just, yeah, I get died real fast. <laughs> because without shields, so you know, basically you have to juggle between shields, and weapons and you know it's it's a harder survival kind of a thing because I know a lot of people like oops sorry out of focus I know a lot of people like to have you know play the hard hard games and stuff like that so you already saw it on the big screen this was just basically showing you that it's already implemented in the mobile you know so yep different score ratio as you can see my high score is only 422 on the Android and it's like a thousand well again because I have unlimited shields that's pretty much the benefit of that and it's just full out to me to actually test things just to see how far I can push the threshold but um, that is the game that I'm going to release earlier there's a few just a little bit of tidbits and things I need to change up but that's really about it and uh, the game will be available on um, the Android marketplace for free um, Obviously, there's one big thing that I have to do is which I have to release it under uh, through um, Game Maker Studio 2 because uh, one, I think, the uses a different Android um, compiler. So I have to do it from my Android, from my Game Maker Studio 2. I'm just not that familiar with the whole layout of as Game Maker Studio 2 is yet. That's why I've, I've continued to build in 1.4. But the release will be in Game Maker Studio 2. So, and then I'll just compile everything there and just release it. And hopefully, you know, don't come across any bugs. Hopefully, we'll see. But this is uh, um, the patrolling. What the hell, as it is, as it stands right now. Um, pretty much that's the working title for it. You know, I may change it, but this is pretty much just a singular mode version. So I trimmed out a lot of things from the original game just to make this be just almost like a survival. There are a few things that I'm going to add to it. Like, you know, I'm going to make this uh, be fully animated and move in the, in, in, in turn, spin in 3D and stuff of that nature. And I might just, just fine tune just a few little things. But I'm not going to go too far into it because this is just to release so at least I can build audience to see the game and get to be able to try the game and, you know, test it to see how it plays. And then hopefully, you know, they may decide to purchase the main game when it comes out. Um, if not, what I'm, the other formula I may do is, which is to actually, um, I guess, continuously update the, the free version. Wait, yeah, I may put ads in there because, hey, you know, something of a sort. But that's still to be decided. But that is the minor little update I had to throw out there so people can see what's going on. And pretty much it's really about just the weapon systems. There are going to be more weapons, um, but this is just me testing out the weapons. I've had not, I haven't had time to really do a lot of dev work because of the paying work. <laughs> so, but, you know, I just wanted to make sure I get this done and move on to another idea I have coming up. So once I get these games out the door, there's a bunch of other games that I have lined up that I want to really try to get done. Um, but this is the first of uh, many. Um, I may actually go back to one of my other original first games, which was called Born Fighters, which is a fighting game. Fighting games are a little bit harder to actually do as well. And I found that out the hard way when I first made it. But uh, I may tackle that. You know, I thought about RPGs, but that's, a, that's too big for me alone. And I don't feel like doing such a big project. I just want to stick to like smaller things that I can just churn out and move on to other things. Because, you know, there's so many things, other things I would love to do. All right. Anyway, peeps, that's what I have for you right now. And uh, hopefully you enjoy. And um, uh, yeah, I'm not one of those uh, like and subscribe person. If you want to like and subscribe, you can. If you don't, that's perfectly up to you. This is just a way for me to just get my things out there for you guys to see. 
and uh, enjoy. All right, peace.